Hello, this is the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, February 25th, 2017. Nine races on the card. Of course, the poly track is fast. Temperature in the mid-30 degrees. Tonight's first race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares. They'll go one mile. Scratch number four, Hot. The morning favorite, number five, Maxine with Corey Orm. They are off in the Saturday evening opener from Turfway. And it's Maxine, the favorite, gets the first call. Scrammy broke well, as did Cape Caroline. General's daughter and hollering wings, racing for position for that rail run. On the run to the first turn and last away early is She's Whistling Dixie. So it's Maxine, the favorite, will clear off, shows the way by two and a half. Harlan's rings, hugs that rail spot in second, hard to picture. Very wide on the course, racing up into third. Towards her inside comes both Scrammy and General's daughter against the fence. And then the two trailers are Cape Caroline and She's Whistling Dixie. First quarter, they walked it out 26 seconds flat. So up top, it's Maxine, shows the way by a length and a half. Harlan's Rings is second. Separation of four links back to Scrammy comes through the inside of Hard to Picture. Then a link for the back there goes Cape Caroline. Cape Caroline has moved from sixth up into a joint third there. And still last is She's Whistling Dixie. Half mile 50 and one. So pedestrian-like fractions for Maxine, the big favorite. She heads into the far turn with a two and a half length lead. Harlan's Rings being put to the test there in second. Continuing to grind away, Cape Caroline has now moved into third. Whip comes out on Scrammy as a field passes the five sixteenths pole. And all of a sudden, Maxine spurts away by five. She got through some uh, soft fractions there and comes to the top of the lane through three quarters in 115 flat and spins on down for the money. It's Maxine still up top by four. She's wondering about the course, but still by the 316th pole is in front by five. Cape Caroline into the second position. Harlan Rings trying to hold third down the center from absolutely last is she's whistling Dixie. But in the final 16th of a mile, Maxine walked it out up top. Well handled and proportioned up top by Corey Orm. Wins it by about six under wraps. Cape Caroline was second. Harlan's rings third. She's Wilson Dixie was fourth. And it was the morning line favorite. Number five, Maxine had things her own way up top. Broke Sharp never looked back. Wins for the PTK LLC. Dane Kabisky, the winning trainer, and Corey Orm with that well handled ride up top. Maxine, 280, 210, and 210. Second number seven, Cape Caroline. Third, the one, Harlan's Rings. Fourth number two, she's Whistling Dixie. The Exacto is worth $7. The Tri, $16.80. And the Super, $102 even. Running time, $140 flat. Tonight's second race, a claiming event for Thrills and Up, which have never won two lifetime. Five and a half furlongs the distance. Morning line favorite, the Florida Invader. Number five, Greenhorn for Wesley Ward. Are at the post. They are off. It's Robin broke sharp, as did Visions of Halo, but now it's Greenhorn, the favorite who has the most speed. Citizen Caesar off the gate in fourth, a length in front of Clever now to the rail in fifth, and a length and a half back to game played is last of the six. Six lengths from top to bottom as they head up the back stretch and past the half mile pole, and Greenhorn has made the point, shows them by about a length. Clever now trying to sneak through on the fence with the bug girl, has moved up right to that one's flank there. It's Robin out in third. Citizen Caesar, the jock had to steady there, now being passed by Visions of Halo, and from the back of the pack, Moving up into fourth is game play. As they're outside the quarter mile pole, it's Greenhorn who shows the way. It's Robin tackles to the outside. Clever now made that daring move up the fence. Has been dropped back to the fifth now as they run to the top of the lane. And Greenhorn, well off the fence, is going to turn them on down. Long shot, it's Robin pressure into the outside. Visions of Halo diving down towards the inside. Not today for Clever now. Game played, running up into fourth. They're in the final. Florence Furlong and Greenhorn shaken up by Julio. But here's It's Robin back to take a crack to the outside. It's going to be close here. It's Robin, Greenhorn, It's Robin. Pulls the shocker to start the pick four at 17 to 1 in 106 flat. Number seven, It's Robin pulls the shocker here, defeats the favorite right on the square. It's Robin owned and trained by Monica Crewman, Sonny Leon, the winning jockey. 37.80, 7.85 for the winner. Finishing second, number five, Greenhorn. Third, number six, game played. And fourth, the four, Visions of Halo. Exacta 84.80, the try, $212.90. Superfecta, 2,198 even. And the double, $47. It was a late scratch, number one, Ola Gatita. Tonight's third race, a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares to go a mile. Scratch the 1A Baja Bessie. Put Alvin Jimenez on the two, Martha Rose. And the morning line favorite, number three, Arya, with Sonny Leone. Last half mile. 
in 48 and 1. Martha Rose still shows him up top. I'm extraordinary. Still racing in second. No twist in the pot up front. Hermosa Hokera still continuing to move along the rail in third. There goes Guyana Star cut loose by Kaiser in fourth. Whip comes out on the big favorite Arya. The top five, three and a half links from uh, top to bottom there as they're just outside the quarter pole. Martha Rose is under attack. Guyana Star in that three wide side that overtakes the lead. Here's Arya who switches off cover. Also, Kate and Nab's reward continues to grind as going to be about seven wide as they straighten to the top of the lane and Guyana Star overtakes the lead. Uh, Guyana Star in front by a length with an eighth of a mile to go. Uh, I'm extraordinary trying to hold second from here comes Caden Abs reward and the favorite Arya has a lot of work to do. Guyana Star got first run and Guyana Star has a two length lead over Kate and Abs reward who's running up into second. Guyana Star now on a two race win streak. Caden Abs reward was second. Arya was third in 139 and two. Number six, Guyana Star rallies from far back despite going wide. Had enough in the tank to win here, posting her second straight victory at the track for the South Fork Creek Stables. John Hill Jr., the winning trainer, and Chelsea Kaiser was aboard for the winning ride. Guyana Star, 1040, 540, 320. Second, number five, Kate and Abs Reward. Third, number three, Aria. Fourth, one, I'm Extraordinary. The winning exacta, 5380. The try, 10640. Super, $857.80. The daily double, $240.60. And the big three, $150.40. Running time, 139 and 2. Tonight's fourth race, a claiming event for maiden three year olds. 7500 the claiming price, 6.5 for long is the distance. Scratch numbers 4 and 5. Morning line favorite number 1, Bar Trick, on the class drop for trainer Andrew McKeever. Restraint by Jimenez shows the way by three parts of a length. Little Luke being scrubbed upon to try to keep pace and hold that rail position there as they run in the far turn. Bar Trick comes through from between horses to be third. Now there goes Paisu cut loose by Mojica as they're just outside the 516th pole. It's Zarman still shows them up top. Bar Trick, the big favorite, probing along the fence there in second. Paisale, the whip comes out there in third. It's four lengths for the back to Little Luke, who throws out the parachute as they run to the top of the lane, and Zarman will turn them on down. Bar Trick's the danger to the inside. These two match strides by the 316th pole. It's Zarman to the outside. Bar Trick being put to the whip to the inside. Three lengths for the back. Paisale is third. Down the center after the poor start. Oops, I am is fourth. But in the final 16th, Zarman turns back Back the favorite bar trick and Zarman a monumental victory here as Alvin Jimenez gets his 1,000th career victory. Number eight, Zarman takes him coast to coast here. Perfectly rated up top by Jackie Alvin Jimenez. Number eight, Zarman owned by the Ice Wine Stable, trained by Wesley Ward, and Zarman returns $5, 240, and 210. Second number one, bar trick. Third number seven, Pie Sale. Fourth number six, Vincent 52. Exacta was $10, the trifecta $20.80, the daily double $22.60, the super $70.80. Pick three, $574.70, running time 119. Fifth race is a claiming event to go five and a half furlongs, scratch number seven, Harlan's Howling. Morning line favorite now will be number six, he's a dandy candy with Gabe Lagunas. They are off. Good even beginning start for all, but it's Mr. Wally who has the most speed. Bear Hunter broke sharp in second. Ransom's Love, a close up third. A link for the back, Sir Nicholas is fourth. A length in front of SmackDown, then a similar margin back to Amazon King in the gray. He's at Dandy Candy at the back of the pack. Past the half mile pull they go, and Mr. Wally in the Steve Cannon Silk shows the way by a long neck. Ransom's Love uh, puts a bid in outside the three and a half for a long marker there in second. Bear Hunter and the Garcia Silks loops up three wide, third to make it three in a line. Running on from last, he's at Dandy Candy. The gray is really making progress midpoint through the turn. So they have three and a half for long still to go. It's Mr. Wally up top. Ransom's Love in the middle. Bear Hunter on the three wide side. He's a dandy candle. Tackies tackles to the outside as they run to the head of the lane. Mr. Wally cut the corner. Ransom's Love emerges with the lead. Bear Hunter down the center of the track and the favorite. He's a dandy candy. The gray is fourth coming at him and coming on in an eighth of a mile to go. And Bear Hunter's found the front. Bear Hunter trying to hold. He's a dandy candy. And Sir Nicholas from the back of the pack. Down to the wire. Bear Hunter from He's a Dandy Candy. Bear Hunter gets it done here by a long length there. He's a Dandy Candy was second. Looked like Sir Nicholas may have gotten third in 106 flat. Number five, Bear Hunter pulls the slide upset here to win for owner Israel Garcia and Gennaro Garcia, the trainer, Alberto Pusak up top. Bear Hunter, $14, $540, Second, the favorite, the six, he's a Dandy Candy. Third, the one, Sir Nicholas. Fourth, three, Mr. Wally. 
the exacta was worth $34.80. The try, $115.60. The daily double, $30 even. Superfecta, $1,701.80. The 50 cent pick for $3,530.25. And the pick five came back $1,475.10. Running time, 106. Clap. Tonight's sixth race is a starter allowance event to go a mile and three quarters. Morning line favorite number five, National Defense with Orlando Mojica. Just outside the half mile pole, the first mile, one minute 43 and three. So shake your goof thing and Alonzo Quinones will show him into the far turn in front by just a length as Cozy Kitten to the inside. It's shake your groove thing. Up top, the rail's open there for Cozy Kitten through from between horses. Il Mango Tropo. And now the favorite cut loose by Mojica. National Defense is fourth. He's tipped to the three wide side and he's coming with really good momentum outside the quarter pole. So National Defense and shake your groove thing. Outside the quarter pole, these two do battle. It's ain't too proud being ridden with the whip to keep pace. The pace is quickening as they run to the top of the stretch. National Defense under confident handling by Mojica. Strikes the front. Ain't too proud. Trying to rally on the inside. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. Still gaining down the center of the track, but it's National Defense who's gained the upper hand. National Defense just from Shake your groove thing who's trying to re-rally and tenacious there in defeat, but National Defense wins it. National Defense has the favorite. Starts to pick four by a length. Shake your groove thing was second. Ain't too proud third. And Larry Mullen Curlin was fourth in a 303 flat. Just off the track record. Again, 15100s off of the track record. Number five, National Defense. Rallies from off the pace. Confidently handled there by Orlando Mojica. For owner Innocencio Gazeta, Kiki Calderon, the winning trainer. National Defense, 320, 240, 210. Second number three, Shake Your Groove Thing. Third number six, Ain't Too Proud. Fourth to four, Larry, Moe, and Curlin. The exact of $15, the try, $27. The daily double, $27.40. The super, $136.60. And the pick three, $62.40. Running time, three minutes and three seconds. That's just 15 one hundredths off the track record. Tonight's seventh race, a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares to go six and one half furlong. Scratch the one Limerick Lady. Morning line favorite number three, Pom Pom Power for trainer Burke Crawford. And they're off. Slow beginning for Strategic Diva, but a fast start as Omnivelli caught a flyer and quickly out of that chute opens up by four. Pom Pom Power off the gate racing in the second position. Towards her inside, Crazy Wild Best close up today. She's third, a length in front of Cobra's Crown, followed up next by CO's sister, and then Judson's Pretty Girl on the four wide side. Three links for the back to slow starting Strategic Diva, last of the lot. Nine links from a tip to tail here, first quarter 22 and one. Omnivelli and the Bug Girl show the way up top by a link. Pom Pom Power and Jimenez tracking in the second position. Crazy Wild Best puts a bid in, racing along in third up the fence. Two links for the back. It is Cobra's Crown who overtakes fourth. Judson's Pretty Girl continues in that wide angle as they run outside the quarter mile pole. Omnivelli, the big favorite, shows them up top. Here's Pom Pom Power in the second position. Crazy Wild Bess and Rodney Prescott goes to work with the whip there. Cobra's crown just went by her as they run to the top of the home stretch in Omnivelli. Omnivelli led every step of the way. Pom Pom Power attacks to the outside. These two square off as they're inside the eighth of a mile marker. Omnivelli to the inside. There's Pom Pom Power ratcheting up the pressure to the outside. Cobra's crown continuing to grind away in third, but down towards the wire, Pom Pom Power is going to win it for Burt Crawford to give Alvin Jimenez two on the card. Cobra's crown was second there, Omnivelli third in 117 and one. Number three, Pom Pom Power rallies from off the pace to give Alvin Jimenez two wins on the night's car. Pom Pom Power picks up 10th lifetime victory here for owner Burton Sip, trained by Burt Crawford, Pom Pom Power, 760, 562, 80. Finishing second, long shot, number six, Cobra's Crown. Third pace setting, uh, number seven, Omnivelli. And fourth, the eight, Judson's Pretty Girl. The exact, a 178.60. The $1 try, 243.60. The double, $10. The super, 1,157.40. Pick three, 132.20. Running time, 117 and one. Tonight's eighth race, a allowance event for the three-year-old Phillies. They'll race one mile. Morning line favorite number four, Gilded Lily, for owner Tracy Farmer. All set. They are off.
Racy Reese wins the break. Kay Hansen uh, showing speed as well, and the favorite Gilded Lily stacks up a three wide third. Spanish Arch tucks in and saves all the ground onto the run of the first turn, and then the two back markers are Never Grow Old and On Her Honor. So it's Kay Hansen out there paving that poly path in front by about a length now. Long shot Racy Reese racing in between horses. Spanish Arch hugs that fence in third. Gilded Lily and the Farmer Soaks keen to go on, tugging hard at him and as there is up into second and a link for the back racing along in fifth is Honor Honor and the Elkstone groups never go old. Last of the lot. Field of six covered by about six lengths here. The first quarter, 25 seconds flat. Slow fractions up top. Kay Hansen to the inside. Gilded Lily to the outside. These two are now stride for stride. Racy Reese racing along in the third position. Honor Honor starts to close in now in fourth. She's about three and a half lengths off the pace through a half in 48 in two fifth seconds. So Gilded Lily, the favorite, shows the way. The lead is now a half length. Kay Hansen races along the rail in second. Here's On Her Honor. Looping up on the three wide side there in third, Racy Reese Bottled up to the inside. Going to need a seam there in fourth and a link for the back to Spanish Arch as they run to the top of the stretch. Gilded Lily confronted to the outside by On Her Honor. Kay Hansen still grinding away to the inside. Never grow old uh, for the Elkstone group. Starts to roll from the back of the pack as they straighten for the stretch drive. Three quarters in one, 12 and four, and they're on their way home. It's Gilded Lily still shows the way, shaking up now. On Her Honor trying to hold second there. Kay Hansen lunging through from between horses. Racy Reese as they race down towards the line. Another profound performance by Gilded Lily as she remains razor sharp and undefeated, winning in 138-3 and, and giving Jimenez three on the card. Number four, Gilded Lily. Dominant in victory here, remains razor sharp and undefeated for owner Tracy Farmer. Trained by Mike Maker, his three-year-old daughter of Spitestown was ridden to victory by Alvin Jimenez for his third victory on the card. Gilded Lily, as the favorite, returns 280, 220, 210. Second one, Kay Hansen. Third six, On Her Honor. And fourth, the five, Never Grow Old. The winning Exacto was worth 2780. The try, 5770. The super, $257. The pick three, 2440. And the double, 1280. Running time, 138 and three. Tonight's ninth race, a maiden Philly and mare claimer. The claiming price, $5,000 to go a mile. Number seven, Pegasus Kitten for trainer Mike Maker is the morning line favorite. And they are off. It's all about that base broke as sharply as it did Will and Grace. Through from between those two, uh, laughs and giggles. Down on the inside, Devalica and My Kind of Cat hustled up along the rail. Has the lead as a race midpoint through the opening turn. My Kind of Cat from the Evans Barn shows away by a length and a half. Laughs and giggles in the AFM Silks races in second. Devalica tugging hard against the jock races in third. About a length, length and a half in front of the pair of Will and Grace. And it's all about the base. Then a separation of two. We'll find Orient Betty to the outside of her as Land and a link for the back to uh, Sit and Smitten. And the favorite is second last Pegasus Kitten has one horse beat, and that is Shamelessly Shy. Strung outfield here. They're about 12 lengths from top to bottom. First quarter, 24 and 2. They continue the run up the back stretch, and they pass the half mile pole. The first half mile was timed in 48 and 4. My kind of cat still shows them up top by 2. Will and Grace to the inside. It's all about that base. Revs up there in third. Here comes Land and now kicked it into top gear. Pegasus Kitten is weaving her way through traffic, starting to pick horses off one by one. She's moved into fifth. She's three and a half off the lead as they run towards the quarter mile pole. It's my kind of cat still there. It's all about the base. The whip comes out. There goes Pegasus Kitten in the Ramsey Red up to the outside as they straighten to the top of the home stretch. My Kind of Cat has been there every step of the way. But Pegasus Kitten looking to pounce up on the outside down the center of the track from absolutely last run. Shamelessly shy as they're in the final Florence Furlong. And Pegasus Kitten has made the lead. And Pegasus Kitten is on her way to the winner's circle. Pegasus Kitten to give Maker two and Jimenez four on the card. Land was second, shamelessly shy third. Tight photo for fourth between Will and Grace, and it's all about that base in 141 flat. And it was the favorite number seven, Pegasus Kitten, who gets it done in the nightcap. Pegasus Kitten owned by Ken and Sarah Ramsey, trained by Mike Maker for his second victory in the card. Four wins on the evening for Alvin Jimenez. Number seven, Pegasus Kitten, returns 320, 240, 210. Second number 10, Land. Third was the three, shamelessly shy. Dead heat for fourth. Between the six, Will and Grace, and the nine, it's all about that base. The exact to 2820, the try, 214.50. 
The pick four, $13. The double, $5. The high five, $2,631.60. The superfecta ending with the six, $704. The superfecta ending with the nine, $497. Well, that wraps it up for this uh, Saturday edition of the Turfway Park Report. Live racing returns in March on Thursday with a first post of 615. For all of us here at the track, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you at the races.